Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro and in today's video we are going to discuss about MTD, QTD and YTD. What are these? What are the things that you should remember and how you can use it into your Power BI reports? Everything regarding these you will get to know in this video. So if you are interested to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. As you know that in our Power BI reports on day-to-day -day basis or even any analytical reports, we need to use certain measures. We have to create certain measures and also in order to create those measures, we have to use certain DAX functions. So in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let you know how you can create measures for MTD, QTD and YTD and how you can use them. You should remember that reports are integral to measure the performance of any digital marketing strategy. They help in identifying actionable steps to meet your business goals. Well-built reports unveil new pockets for growth and help you make bolder decisions and take advantage of new opportunities. So the very first we are going to discuss over here is MTD. What is MTD? Month to date is a period that starts from the beginning of a current calendar month and ends at the current date. But it does not include the date of the present day. This is because the end of the business for that current day has not yet occurred. Suppose if the present day is the 19th September, then your MTD will cover the data from the time period of 1st September to 18th of September only. MTD report provides you the information regarding your campaign for that particular period of time. The report helps in comparing the campaign's current period's performance to that of past periods. MTD can help you identify trends and predict future behavior. Now there are different metrics and key performance indexes to measure and compare. So plotting and reviewing the data on the MTD scale can help you identify problems with real-time data. Now I am sure you know everything about MTD that you need to know and if you have still any question regarding MTD you can let me know. The second one comes the QTD. What is QTD? Well guys, QTD or quarter to date is a period that starts at the beginning of the current quarter and ends at the current date. Be mindful while making QTD reports as a quarter to date is used in many contexts which is the beginning of the calendar or fiscal quarter. QTD is like a financial tool that captures all the activities of the company that had occurred from the start of the quarter up to the date at which the activities were collected during that period. Its information is collected in order to allow management to see the quarterly performance and also gives you an overall view of the quarter shapes up. However, you should remember about some of the facts about QTD. The very first is, QTD is a three month period during a financial year. Hence, there are four quarters in each fiscal year. Also, QTD analysis is always useful later in the quarter when there is a substantial data to analyze. So now you would be wondering why QTD matters a lot. Well, over here I would like to tell you, quarter to date comparison is quite useful as you can look for trends and can measure the performance. In the context of finance, quarter to date provides financial statements including details of the performance of a business. Moreover, it highlights all the activities that are undertaken by the company from the start date of the quarter to end up to which the information was gathered. Hence. It informs the corporate decision makers about the progress in the business in that particular quarter. That's why it is very important for you to know about the QTD. Finally guys, we are going to discuss about YTD. That means year to date. So what is it? Year to date is a period beginning from the first day of the current year, either it's a calendar year or fiscal year continuing up to the current day. A calendar year is a period from January 1st to 31st December 
where the fiscal year is a time period lasting for a year but beginning from January 1st is not necessary. The information gathered from YTD is quite useful for analyzing the improvement in the business, comparing the performance data, analyzing business trends, and determining investment returns, etc. Here, there are a couple of facts that you should remember. The very first is, in some organization, fiscal year may begin on any other day than January 1st. For example, in India, it's generally from the 1st of April, and in many countries, it starts from the 1st of July. The second one is that, YTD analysis is beneficial for the managers to review the current campaign performance in comparison to previous campaign performance. So this was all about MTD, QTD and YTD. Now we are going to have a look at our data model with the help of which I am going to create these three measures. So let's have a look. Over here you will see I have right now three tables. Sales table is the hidden table but majorly I am going to work on this customer table and date table. As I always suggest you please don't forget to mark date table. And for that, what you can do, you can come over here, you can just select your table, that is your date table, and select it, then you will see there is an option is mark as date table. So please mark it as a date table, whichever column you are going to use for date. Otherwise, these time intelligence functions, that is total MTD, total QTD, and total YTD are not going to fork into your Power BI report. Secondly, you have, to create, uh, you have to create certain measures using these, and those are very simple measures that I have already created over here. So the very first is our total income. So now you can see that I am just using some DAX function on my yearly income column, and I am creating that. Similarly, I'm going to create three more measures over here. That is my MTD income, QTD income and YTD income. So how I'm doing that. So let me just show you. So guys, this is my MTD income over here. You can clearly see that I'm using total MTD DAX function. I have used it in many previous videos as well. If you haven't watched them, please go and watch them. So there you have to use first total MTD, which is your DAX function, then your another measure or you can even write an expression over here and then your date column that's it and for the others as well you have to just change it to the QTD and YTD correspondingly and then the last one is our YTD one so if I'll go over here YTD income you will see there is a total YTD over here which is appearing clearly that's all you need to do in order to create these three measures basically we are using time intelligence based text functions that is total MTD total YTD and total QTD over here then you have to use your expression or if you have already a measure then also you can use inside them and then your date column so now let's check how does it appear actually if we are going to create a matrix or a report so in my demo, I have already have this year slicer, then I have my total income, which is my column, then I have my MTD, then my QTD and YTD. So over here, if I'll go, you will see that the first month is over here, that is the March. So in March, my total is just 70. So my MTD is coming as total 70 only. The sum starting from that date till the present day, it's going to be like that. So it's going to go row by row. So our, over here, the context is row. Similarly, YTD is going to show you the total YTD for this year. So similarly, YTD is also going to be like that. So last YTD over here in this column should be this 880. So let's go down. And over here, we will check this last sum amount is 880. So that means for the starting of that year till the last day of that year. That's how it's going to count. So guys, this is very important for you to calculate and to know how to calculate MTD, QTD and YTD. So guys, similarly, you can calculate MTD, QTD and YTD for any year. And in last, if we talk about the summary, so MTD is a period that starts from the beginning of the current month and ends at the current date but it does not include the day of present day if we talk about the qtd quarter to date is a period starting at the beginning of the current quarter and ends at the current date its information is collected to see the quarterly performance 
and YTD, which is year to date, is a period beginning from first day of the current year, either calendar year or fiscal year, continuing up to current day. So these are the three very important concepts that you should need to know if you are going to work on analytical reports, whether you are working on Power BI or any other data visualization tool.